In an accidental house fire, the family dog had to act quickly to rescue the baby's life. What occurred afterward is genuinely astonishing. Dawn and Stuart were a typical couple, sharing many interests and hobbies that made them an ideal match. Among their mutual passions was a fondness for animals, particularly dogs. That's why, shortly after they began living together, they acquired a dog. Beanie was a boxer, and despite his initial small size, he quickly developed into a well-built and robust dog. Although Beanie had a tough exterior, he was genuinely a gentle and affectionate dog, which was precisely what Don and Stuart had wished for. The dog was the initial member of what would soon become their new family, but certainly not the last. In the midst of March, Dawn received the news that she was expecting, much to their surprise. Despite not having planned for a baby, Dawn and Stuart embraced the news with enthusiasm, looking forward to providing Beanie with a companion to grow alongside. The pregnancy went smoothly, and in January of the next year, she gave birth to a happy and healthy young boy that they called Mason. Both Stuart and Don turned out to be great, loving, and wise parents who would do anything for their little boy. Throughout the year, Mason developed quickly and was soon sitting up and even crawling and trying to walk. And through it all, Beanie was there as his best friend and psychic. In fact, the two never parted. Their friendship was cute and adorable, but it was also the thing that saved the boy from certain death less than a year later. It was their very first Christmas with Mason and Stuart and Dawn really wanted to make it special. They were going to spend the day together as a family, opening gifts, playing games, and eating food. Sure, Mason may still have been too young to truly appreciate it all, but it was still a special day and a magical moment that would live on in the memories of Stuart and Dawn for the rest of their lives. Even Beanie was getting in on the action, wearing a Santa outfit that Dawn had bought online. The amount of gifts that people had bought Mason was actually ridiculous, but no one could deny that it was a fantastic day. Beanie ran around playing with the wrapping paper, sending it flying in all directions as his family watched on and laughed. Eventually, they all got hungry and had a wonderful homemade turkey dinner, topped off with champagne for Stuart and Dawn, fruit juice for Mason, and a nice cooling bowl of water for Beanie, who had long since shrugged off the Santa outfit. After eating, Stuart picked Mason up and placed him in his bed. It had been a long, busy, and exciting day for the little boy. At just less than a year old, he would no doubt been absolutely shattered, so it came as no surprise that Mason was fast asleep before Stuart even reached the bedroom door. His dad opened the window a little to let the stuffy air out and placed the baby inside his cart. As he left the room, Beanie came strolling in and immediately leaped up onto the bedside table and into Mason's little bed, he curled up at his feet and fell asleep too. Stuart smiled and walked away leaving the door slightly ajar, just in case the dog wanted to leave. Stuart went downstairs and helped Don tidy up before telling his wife that he was going to go and drop off a few gifts at his brother's house on the other side of town. Don kissed him goodbye and told him not to be long. She then went to the couch and laid down in front of the TV before too long, her eyes started getting heavy, and she too drifted off to sleep. She didn't know that disaster was about to strike. Something potentially horrific was about to happen. While tidying the kitchen, neither Don nor Stuart had noticed one of the hobs on the oven was still on. A stray cloth had fallen onto the hub and started smoldering before bursting into flames. Within moments, the fire had spread and much of the kitchen was in flames. It soon filled the room and reached the adjoining ones, burning all that was in its way. The fire really did spread quickly, there was plenty of wrapping paper and other flammable substances around the house, and it essentially burnt like a tinderbox, quickly and intensely. Smoke started to bellow into the front room where Dawn was sleeping, and the thick black curtain sooner woke her. Immediately, she panicked and remembered that Mason was upstairs in his crib, she jumped up and ran towards the stairs, shielding her nose and mouth from the smoke as she ran but the intense fire had taken over the bottom of the stairs and passing through, it would have been impossible. The fire roared and Dawn had no choice but to flee from the house, terrified about whether Mason was still alive or not. But what she didn't know was that as soon as Beanie, the dog had smelled the smoke, he had left into action. Beanie had pushed the bedroom door closed to try to stop the smoke coming into the room, 
and then leaped up at the window, shoving his head into the small open gap. Using his head, he had pushed it wider open. It had taken a lot of strength, but eventually, Beanie had the window open wide enough for him to get through. Luckily, there was a roof not far below the window and beyond that soft bushes that he could jump into. Beanie had taken a big breath of cool night air and turned around running back over to Mason's cart. He had leaped in and grabbed the baby by the scruff of his pajamas, lifting him up with all of his might and slowly carrying him across the room. In only a matter of moments, the raging flames outside the bedroom door would burn through and set all the plastic toys on fire. So, Beanie had lifted the crying baby up and kept hold of him as he climbed out of the window and loaded himself down to the bushes below as softly as he could. Both Mason and Beanie got a few cuts and bruise, but their small injuries were preferable to remaining in the house and facing the fire. From the front of the house, Beanie could hear Dawn's frantic screaming, but the protective dog continued carrying Mason down the garden and away from the fire, but that's when he did something shocking and completely unexpected. Still carrying the crying baby in his jaws, Beanie walked out into the middle of the road with him and laid him down directly in the line of where cars would come hurtling by. Why had he done such a thing? Well, it was actually quite a clever move on the dog's part. You see, he knew that the fire engine would come from that direction, and when it came, it would see him and the baby in the road and stop and help them. It was a risky plan, but Beanie instinctively knew he had to protect and save Mason, and just as if it had been planned, the sound of a distant fire truck quickly came closer and closer until it came roaring into view. Beanie nervously paced around a crying Mason and hoped the fire truck would see them in the road. Thankfully, it did, and it screeched to a halt. Two firefighters jumped out of the cab to assist the dog and the baby while the rest of the crew ran to tackle the fire. By that point, the house was a blazing shell and nothing, and no one would have survived it. Thankfully, though safe or minor injuries sustained during the escape, both Mason and Beanie were absolutely fine. The firefighter carried the young boy around the side of the flaming house to his hysterical mother. Dawn and Stuart were both terrified at the thought of their baby boy being trapped inside the burning house. Stuart rushed back to the scene as soon as he heard what had happened, and Dawn was beside herself with fear. However, when they saw their son was safe, the overwhelming sense of relief on their faces was truly heartwarming. The firefighter clarified that Beanie had single-handedly rescued the boy, and they hurried to embrace him in appreciation. Although the family could never fully repay Beanie for saving Mason's life, he did not seem to care. He was content knowing that his family was happy, which made him the best boy of all. It's your turn now. What are your thoughts on this remarkable tale? Have you ever come across such a courageous dog? We always enjoy hearing from you, so please feel free to share your thoughts and feedback in the comments section below. I hope you like this video. Please share and subscribe to our channel. Also, press the bell icon to never miss the update from our channel. Thank you.